Hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to talk about dirty flashing. Oh, this is not as dirty as it sounds. It's about actually updating your custom OS ROM on your Android device. And I have a, a Pixel OS ROM on my Redmi Note 10 and I'm going to show you the steps of how to update it. So let's start it. So before I actually show you the steps of how to do dirty flashing using your Android phone and your laptop, let me give you some gan about dirty flashing. So first of all, dirty flashing is actually upgrading your custom voice ROM that you might have known by now. But is it always required to do it? Depends. First of all, is the update that has come, is it necessary and has any major updates in it? Second thing, are you facing any problem in your custom voice ROM? Then it makes sense to update it. Otherwise, you can skip few of the updates and then maybe do after two, three months. As like in your regular Android phone, you get the updates, you install it and that's it, you're done. But with uh, custom OS ROMs, you may not always get the notifications and you might manually need to go to the website and download it and then uh, install it. And that is the process of actually dirty flashing. So grab your phone, your USB cable and your laptop. And remember to use USB cable that has come along with your phone. So before we begin, let me show you the build number on my Redmi Note 10. So here we can go into the settings and in about phone, we can find the build number. So as you can see, the build number is 1311. Now let's restart the phone in the fast boot mode. So once the phone is shut down, press and hold the volume up and the power button simultaneously for a few seconds. So once you keep this hold for a few seconds, the phone will restart in the fast boot mode. And once you see this screen, you now need to plug in the USB cable that came along with your phone. Plug the other end into your laptop and then visit the website to download the platform tools. So as you can see, the first result that comes up is SDK platform tools and you can download the required version as per your laptop. Now visit the PixelOS website and download the latest build as per your handset. I've downloaded the platform tools and the latest OS build already. As you can see, you can extract the platform tools and place the latest OS build inside the platform tools folder. You can now launch the CMD inside the folder by typing CMD in the search bar. Before moving any further, get back to your handset and click on apply update and choose ADB sideload as the method. Once done, you can leave your handset connected and get back to your laptop. So now let's first check if the computer is detecting the mobile in the fast boot mode. For that you can type ADB devices and hit enter. If your device is connected properly then it will show up under the list of the devices with a tag side load. If that is not the case then you might need to install the USB drivers or change the cable that you are using. To begin installation you need to type ADB side load followed by the complete path of the ROM file that you have downloaded or you can simply drag and drop the ROM file into the command prompt and it will paste the path for you. Hit enter and now this will begin copying the ROM in your device. All you now just have to do is wait for some time and the progress happens automatically. The percentage goes up to 47% and then stops. But don't worry, the entire copy will be done even after that and then you can see the next message. I have fast forwarded this but you need to wait for some time for the entire copy to happen. Once the copy is completed, you can now look at your phone and you can see that the installation has begun. It takes around 2 steps to complete with step 1 now being executed as you can see on the screen. After this step 2 will happen where it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. In many cases it doesn't show up that it has completed, it just gets stuck on the screen. But don't worry, the completion has completed in the background. So as in my case you can see that even after 15-20 minutes it is still stuck on step 2. Now I will simply press the back button and it will give a message that Installation has completed with status 0 and this means the installation has completed successfully and now you can reboot your phone. So just a call out that wait for at least 20 minutes while you're stuck in step 2 and then only press the back button. Otherwise you might see some errors and the installation might be corrupted. Also if you notice that before copying the ROM into the device, we just clicked on apply update and did not do any factory reset. So in this way we are keeping the old data intact and just updating your custom OS. Hold your horses as the reboot will take some time to complete and once done you should have your phone with all your apps and the data intact. The phone is now restarted and let's have a look at the bill number. So as you can see the bill number says number 0318. So congratulations you have updated your custom OS with the latest bill. Explore the bugs, see if anything has solved and enjoy it. 
So that's it. Few simple steps and now you have your custom OS with the latest build. Also many of the minor bugs which you might have faced earlier would have been resolved with the update. Again, I'm repeating, not every update needs to be installed. Go through the change log, figure out any major problem if you're facing in your custom OS, then do the update. And if you ever forget the steps, come back to the video. So here we are at the end of the video. I hope you like my content and found it useful. So please hit a like, subscribe and share it with your friends.